story. Wow, that was a nice story. So in summary, the story of the Good Samaritan teaches us that we should be our brother and sister's keeper. I also think that another lesson learned is that we should help others without expecting any rewards in return. But Dami, I have a question that is bothering me since I did my personal Bible reading. What is the question? Tell us if you can be of help. I read in my Bible that there is gift of the Spirit oh. and fruit of the Spirit. My question is, which is the greatest one to pray for out of the two? As far as my concern, I prefer the gift of the Holy Spirit. So they can speak in tongue, like my pasta. <laughs> I was thinking the same, that the gift of the Spirit is the best because I like to pray for someone and to be able to prophesy to the person. And I'll say, Thou send the Lord a prophet Lord in the church. I agree with both of you, but do you remember what the Sunday school t taught us? taught us five weeks ago about the gift and fruit of the Spirit. So we'll be reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 11. We will be taking only verse 2. It says, And the Spirit of the Lord that rests upon him, and the Spirit of wisdom, what did I say? Spirit of wisdom, and understanding, and the Spirit of counsel, might and the truth of the knowledge and of the law. So, the second one we're going to read is taken from the book of Galatians chapter 5. And we are reading verses 23 to 23. I read, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, is joy, is peace, is long suffering, gentleness, godliness, and also. Faith, meekness, temperance, against sword, there is no love. So we believe the third one is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And we are reading from verses 1 and 2. Let me read for you. It says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, and not charity is love, as I said, I became a sand grass or a painting symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and of knowledge, and though I have no faith, so that I could remove mountains and have no love, I am not. So, from what I've read, it is very clear that. The fruit of the Spirit will help you to sustain the gift of the Spirit. So, in conclusion, the gift will take you to the top. But the fruit of the Spirit, which is Alata, which is love, will sustain you at the top. Can you now see the greatest? I think I'll pray for the fruit of the Spirit from today. And me too. I'll pray for the fruits of the Spirit. That is good. As you now pray for the fruit of the Spirit, God will now give us gift of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. People of God, we now know that we should be praying for the fruit of the Spirit. And as you pray for the fruit of the Spirit, God will grant you the gift of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.